Okay, another kit. Um, let's, uh, this one looks pretty small. Let's uh, open it up, take a look. I think I know what this one is. Um, I remember right, this is a white noise source. So we looked at another noise source, which was an RF noise source. This is an audio frequency noise, noise source. So, um, I don't know if you can, uh, can zoom in here a little bit. Uh, there's a, um, uh, connector, an audio connector here. Um, it says phone jack output, uh, phone volume, um, 12 volts in, um, there's a signal out down here too, and then some stuff. <laughs> so I do believe that's a, a noise source, so let's, uh, let's, of course there's no schematics, no, no nothing on it, so let's, uh, Let's try to build it from the uh, silk screen and uh, see if it works. Oh no. Okay, I have all the resistors on now. Um, some 100K, 10Ks, a 1 meg ohm, which was interesting. Um, and I happened to spill my tray, so I'm going to have to find all the parts on my desk here. Alright, so the first part here is a 9014 transistor. And that goes here. Okay. And next part is a 9014. Another one goes here. Those are probably all NPNs, if I'm guessing right. And looks like we have a five, a uh, twelve volt regulator or something here. Uh, oh no, oh twelve volt ten. No, another. So it's just got four. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, a couple capacitors. Uh, let's see, this is a 10 microfarad. And I've lost a couple capacitors on my desk. Let me go look for those. Alright, found the capacitors. All we're missing is the uh, connector there. I got some long leads over here. Snip those off. The leads flying across the room. All right. See, I saw that connector somewhere. Where was it? There it is. There we go. I would say it's ready to run. Let's take a look. Oops. Alright, well, we've got four transistors and some capacitors. Sounds like enough to make some noise. A volume knob, output. There's two connectors here, one uh, wire terminals, one for 12 volts and one for uh, output. So we probably don't even need to use that, we can just look on the output. So I say maybe we um, hook this thing up and give it a listen and then I'll uh, put it on the oscilloscope so we can take a look. 
Okay, so I've got some uh, wires sticking out here so I can hook on some some power. Um, I have a uh, uh, three and a half inch, uh, a three and a half millimeter uh, uh, stereo jack going in here. And um, I'm having it run over to my stereo. And so we should hear it uh, if this thing makes any noise. So let's hook up power. Oh! Think you can hear that? It's pretty loud. Maybe, oh! Too loud. So supposedly that's white noise. Um, let's see if we can't confirm that and take a look at it on this oscilloscope. Let's get rid of this noise. That's pretty obnoxious. All right. Turn my scope on. I'll have to rearrange things here so you can see the scope at the same time. So just a second. All right, here's our board. And let me pan over uh, to the oscilloscope. There we go. Yeah, that's all the zooming I've got. Yep. So it's kind of flat spotting. I wouldn't call that uh, white noise. Let me adjust the uh, adjust the volume and see if it's clipping. Mm. No, I don't think it's a very good white noise source. It shouldn't look clipped like that. Let's uh, hit a single shot here. Yeah, that's not. That's not white noise, it's clipping. No, not the best circuit in the world. Um, let's see, let's zoom out here. Yeah. Not very good. It's some type of noise, but wouldn't call it white noise. Um, let's see if we can't. Um, do an FFT on the uh, on the signal. Let me uh, let me see how we do that. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, measure source one. Um, let's see here. Maybe it's math. Yeah, here we go. Math. Um, Here we go. Math. Ah, yes. Uh, FFT. Okay. Click that. And display on. And uh, center. Five kilohertz. Five kilohertz for division. Yeah, I don't know if this is working right. Oh, I don't see a signal at all. Let me play around with it for a while and see if I can't get an FFT. Oh, there we go. Um, I have the FFT centered on 10 kilohertz. And I have uh, 2.5 kilohertz per division. So it's starting here at 0. And this would be about 20. So 0 to 20 is audio. And it's... Um, I wouldn't say it's flat, but it's not too bad. So it's putting out frequency at all of those uh, all of those frequencies. So putting out a signal at all those frequencies. So I guess it's somewhat usable. Um, definitely not uh, not what you would expect. I'm putting my fingers on the circuit and seeing if I can't get it to. Uh, Behave a little better. No, make it behave worse. Yeah. Not the greatest circuit. So I would suggest <laughs> if you need a, a white noise source audio, do not buy one of these. Um, or if you do buy one of these, try to figure out the schematic 
and then fine tune it yourself or my best suggestion would be just build your own. I don't think they're that complicated, right? Just a few transistors and stuff. Um, probably just the selection. It's probably the transistors are biased up too high. Um, we have this flat spot, uh, uh, flat spot going on that shouldn't be there. Uh, it should be kind of uh, random uh, excursions uh, and not clipping. Um, let me raise the voltage, just the VCC voltage, just a little bit. See if it, see if it helps. Uh, it does a little bit. Um, I don't want to go see these transistors. The only thing that's in here is transistors, so I'll probably go up to 20 volts, easy enough. But here's 15 volts, and it uh, does seem to be, um, does seem to be a little bit better. We do have these places where it's uh, got flat spots, but the other the other places look better. That's what I would expect. Is if we just kind of jump around. Um, let's turn that the uh, FFT back on. Oops. FFT looks the same. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't hear it now. Maybe it sounds a little better. Yeah, it does sound better. You probably can't tell over YouTube, but uh, that sounds more like white noise. So it calls for 12 volts input, but it seems to operate better at 15 volts input. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. Well, anyway, I don't think this was more than a dollar and a half or something like that. I don't think it was very expensive. So, um, interesting enough. <laughs>